Google Cloud and Intel's Trust Domain Extensions, TDX, underwent a thorough nine-month audit that revealed 10 vulnerabilities, although five of them led to proactive changes to further strengthen TDX's defenses. The collaboration between Google Cloud and Intel engineers was part of Google Cloud's Confidential Computing Initiative, which ensures customers' data remains encrypted and with full access controls. While it is not trivial to be open and trusting with each other and share intellectual property, the initiative is essential to find and fix vulnerabilities before they cause potential exposure for Google Cloud customers and others. The audit also simulates conditions for attackers to target weaknesses, and outside researchers can collaborate with engineers to secure products better. With the potential harm from design flaws and processor features, chipmakers like Intel invest more in advanced security testing, like TDX's in-house audits and bug bounty program, to ensure that security is of utmost priority. Green hydrogen has the potential to revolutionize energy storage and decarbonization particularly in the fields of large-scale industry and freight transport. While fossil fuels are limited to prehistoric sunlight, hydrogen can store the solar energy of the previous 12 hours and be used to balance out peaks and troughs of supply and demand. Unlike batteries, it can be efficiently transported as a liquid or converted to ammonia for transport. Countries like Japan and South Korea are eager to import green hydrogen from countries like Australia with an excess of renewable energy. While green hydrogen is currently small-scale in the global decarbonization game, it is ramping up and has the potential to make a significant impact. So it's time to get excited about green hydrogen, or as we like to call it, the superhero of energy storage. In 1991, U2 changed the game of live music with the Zoo TV tour, and they haven't stopped pushing boundaries since. Now they are taking on a Vegas residency at the brand new Sphere venue, which boasts a massive 16K by 16K screen that wraps around the entire show, haptic seats, and environmental effect capabilities. U2's guitarist, The Edge, believes this is the dawn of a new creative platform for live music, and if successful, it could set the precedent for even more immersive and visually stunning shows in the future. Long gone are the days of mediocre audio capacities and stationary stages. The future of live music is all about pure experimentation and never-before-possible experiences. Get ready to take a ride down memory lane with Renault's latest production model, the 5EV. This small French hatchback pays homage to the classic Renault 5 from the 1970s and has caused quite a stir in the automotive world. With a reputation for affordable, fun-to-drive cars, Renault is hoping to continue that tradition with the electrified version of the Renault 5 set to hit the roads by 2024. While the prototype we drove on the ice in Sweden resembled Renault's staple hatch, the Clio, the final design will resemble the highly anticipated 2021 concept. Despite its compact size, the 5EV boasts some impressive features, like a lower platform and a wider track. And let's not forget the interior's big red buttons, perfect for stopping various functions in case of an emergency. So buckle up and get ready to fall in love with this charming and nostalgic little vehicle that's sure to steal your heart, and perhaps even rival some of the flashier cars on the market. Robert Pearl, a professor at Stanford Medical School and former CEO of Kaiser Permanente, believes that generative AI like OpenAI's ChatGPT will become a crucial tool in the medical industry. Doctors can use it to summarize patient care, write letters, and even seek ideas on how to diagnose patients. However, there are fears that language models like ChatGPT can provide misleading information that leads to incorrect diagnoses or treatment plans. Despite its potential, it's essential to remember that the bot is not always 100% correct and may generate biased results. Heather Matty, a lecturer in public health at Harvard University, describes ChatGPT as a useful tool for summarizing text, as long as its limitations are understood. CEO Jonah Peretti of BuzzFeed, who admitted that he had been slow to accept that big platforms wouldn't provide the distribution or financial support required to support premium, free journalism purpose built for social media, announced the closure of the company's news operations. However, as Facebook's popularity declines, so has BuzzFeed's. The promising reach that social media platforms offered in the beginning of BuzzFeed's journey came with the peril of being at the mercy of big tech's control of digital advertising. As Google and Meta continue to be the operating systems of the social web, news outlets and publishers are held hostage to their stranglehold on the digital public sphere. Air pollution nerds are a real thing, and they've been busy measuring potentially harmful particles floating around in subway stations in the northeastern U.S., it turns out that metal wheels rubbing against tracks or brakes on wheels are the culprits behind most of the grossness. 
While Paris has recently had a legal case about the air quality in their metro, it seems that New York subway stations are the real villains when it comes to air pollution. One scientist even found that some stations in New York had shockingly high pollution measurements, making it seem like the subway is a toxic wasteland. So maybe we should start investing in some gas masks before our daily commute. In a hilarious and slightly deep realization, a journalist discovers that she has been a victim of Spotify's algorithmic playlists that have been feeding her with sludge of indistinguishable songs which imitates her music taste. The addictive sludge formed a background sound and dissolved into the background. The journalist decided enough was enough and launched a one-woman backlash. However, when she stumbled on Ariana Grande's Diamonds, she realized that the technology of AI-generated voices is the new iteration of sludge that threatens to take over music streaming, making her think about the events of 20 years ago that led to this point. Two music platforms launched on an anarchic and growing internet, the Pirate Bay and Apple's iTunes Music Store. The Pirate Bay offered free downloads while iTunes offered limit music at an expensive fee, but ultimately cemented songs as a standalone product, which contributed to the death of the album and opened the gates to sludge-filled playlists. In the world of AI development, access to quality data is key. However, the decision to charge for access could deter some developers and slow the progression of large language models, LLMs. These LLMs are used to power search chatbots, produce professional and creative copy, and more. Despite this potential revenue, some websites like Stack Overflow argue that the use of their content by AI developers violates their terms of service. Proper licensing may be necessary to accelerate the development of high-quality LLMs, but the debate over data access and ownership continues. In the meantime, let's hope AI developers don't have to resort to stealing data off of websites like a digital Robin Hood.